Games have been woven into human history and can even be found 4,600 years ago. They bring people together, help people to learn, and to allow the player to see from a different perspective. My gaming roots don't go 4,000 years back, but the roots of my life's path originate in games. Strategy one for finding your life's task, according to Robert Greene's mastery, is return to your origin. Unfortunately, growing up, my family never really played games or even sports together. I didn't realize game night was actually a thing that families did until Christmas dinner at a partner's house just after high school. While we did have a computer and a console, being the second youngest of four children, I didn't get much playtime in. The only game that I was ever allowed and left alone to play was The Sims. Being a younger child and just given a game where I could control the lives of my siblings made me feel control of my own space, of myself. In regards to finding your life's path, Green says, sometimes this inclination becomes clear through a particular activity that brings with it a feeling of heightened power. In my case, liberation from the controls and even identities of my sisters. Completely immersing myself in people management sparked an enthusiasm for simulation, strategy, and management games. This management skill would follow me into my working career. I was a lead banquet server for eight years where I planned and managed a service for high-end events. In 2016, while pregnant, I was a hospitality coordinator for a local music festival where I developed a standard operating procedure for the hospitality volunteers. More recently, I was a team lead for two large class projects for my bachelor's at Full Sail University, Project Scraps and the Capstone Project. I have been working since I was 14 and it hasn't all been management. I am a certified massage therapist and I've practiced for five years. I absolutely loved massage and helping people, but felt that this wasn't my end game. I went straight back to work after having my daughter and ended up injuring my wrists. This made my job a lot harder. At the time, the, the pay was worth the risk. Strategy three of finding your life's path is avoid this false path. A false path in life is generally something we are attracted to for the wrong reasons. In my case, it was money. I loved to massage and all of the amazing people that I met while practicing, but I was injured and the job was no longer done out of joy, but a means of financial stability. Aside from massage and project management, I also practice circus arts and I make my own historical clothing. I did not make this. Um, with this very broad selection of interests and hobbies, I've recently found myself worried about what am I going to do when I grow up? With my bachelor's program experience leading a team, I had already started to recognize the feeling of being the guy in the chair. After reading Finding Your Life's Path, I have finally realized that all of this dabbling and these side quests have just built up my skill tree towards being a producer. Thanks to Green's book, Mastery, I have now recognized that I am using strategy to occupy the perfect niche and following the Matsuka path, which says, once you have mastered your first field, you look for the other subjects or skills you can conquer on your own time if necessary. You can now combine this added field of knowledge to the original one, or at least making novel connections between them. To pursue a position as a producer, I will have to practice self-control and making hard decisions. While I'm great at creating budgets, I am absolutely rubbish at sticking to them for longer than a few weeks. So my first goal will be to stick to my budget exactly for the month of February and not give in to things I'd love to have but just don't need. I will I feel this will give me a better idea of seeing how to deal with murdering my darlings and sticking to the plan long term. My second goal is to speak to a member of each game development discipline outside of game design to get a better idea and understanding of the requirements and the timetables needed from each modality of game development. Thank you. After reading Spider-Man, your life's path <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.